on WhatsApp. Welcome back to my channel. This is Aishra Malayala. So finally, our dream series is here, placement series, where I will be coming up with the interview experience of different people from NIT Varangal and if possible from other colleges too, where they have attended different interviews and got selected in those companies during their campus placements. I feel this series is going to be helpful for each and everyone who is watching this. And also do share this series to all your friends and ask them to subscribe, turn on the notification if you haven't done it. Today we have Aditya Singh with us, he is from CSE NIT Varangal 2023 batch. It's the most uh, happening name uh, in NIT Varangal. Almost uh, each and every newspaper have covered his name. Uh, which visits NIT Varangal. The reason behind it is the highest package of NIT Varangal is backed by Aditya Singh. So he got placed in thought spot. Let's know more about the interview process and his experiences during the campus placement process. Yeah, first of all, thank you for having me. And yes, it was a very difficult choice to come over here and left leave some of the party behind. But yeah, I'm really grateful to be here. Okay, so myself Aditya Singh, uh, final year CSC student at NIT Varangal. Uh, currently, I have backed the placement of 88 LPA in ThoughtSport. Okay. So, what was your CGPA like? Uh... Okay. Like my CGPA during the time of placements, it was around 7.6 or something. Okay. After that, it uh, reduced drastically to 7.1. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, so fine. Uh, like, uh, can you just throw some light when the particular third spot has, company has come? Mm -hmm. uh, what was the CGPA cutoff they kept, uh, you know, mm -hmm. to apply for it? Okay. So I think ThoughtSpot came late uh, in late August. Okay, uh, ThoughtSpot came in uh, at such a late time. It was really unexpected for me, and uh, I studied about the profile. Uh, the CGB cutoff was around seven, and okay. the co you had almost seven point six, right? Yeah, that time it was seven point six. Oh, okay, fine. It had the CGB cutoff of seven. After that, uh, only the core branches were allowed: CSE, EC, and Triple E. They had the online interview, it was uh, three questions. After that, they had three technical interviews. Got it. Yeah. So, like, uh, do you, like, had you done, like, any internship during your third year? Did you crack any internship in your yeah, third yeah, year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, in, I think previous year, same time I got the internship. So, it was in? It was in Citrix. Citrix, okay. Yeah, they, with their I had worked in their front end team for two months. Okay. And it was really a So, experience. like, uh, uh, why didn't you turn convert that particular Citrix offer into your PPO? Like yeah, yeah, that was a very difficult choice. Like I was a little like 60-50 on selecting a PPO. Okay. But I was like, okay, if uh, even if I sit for placements, uh, even after some rejection, I can get the same job again because I had a lot of companies visits and I T V number. So what was the LPA which offered by Citrix? Uh, uh, their LPA was. Uh, when they came to campus, it was around 30, 30. but it uh, reduced to 22 because of there are some changes. Got it. So now, uh, like, can you tell us your uh, campus placement experience? Like, how was it? Like, firstly, I decided to leave the Citrix PPO. Okay. So it was very difficult challenge because it's, most of the friends accepted the PPO. Yeah, it's and like very easy yeah. doing an intern, getting PPO, and just still out for a uh, whole. Uh, Final year uh -huh. without having the pressure of placement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I was like, okay, I, I think I can handle the pressure for one month. Okay. I will give my hundred percent in that first month. Like in the back of my mind, I was very sure that yeah, in August I will be placed. But after August was almost at an end, I was not placed. I started, you know, thinking about my decision whether it was the right one or not. But eventually things turned out well. So yeah, I we can't expect things was, actually. Yeah, things take time. Good yes. things take time as it is in the <laughs> Uh, I think first interview uh, I gave was of Uber. Uber. Okay, because of the time shortage and uh, okay, it was not meant to happen. I was not able to solve the question. It was a design question. I was not able to solve it in time. So I, Uber, I got rejected. Okay. After that, second interview I gave of Oracle. Oracle surprisingly asked me a very different question. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, it is also uh, gone. Okay. Then I gave the interview of Cash Free. Cash Free. Cash Free, I was very sure. Yeah, Actually, I, I, I was the SPOC for cash. You were the SPOC for cash. <laughs> okay, I, I think I went uh, to two rounds. After that, I was waiting for the third round call, third round call. But that, um, uh, I think around the evening, it was like, okay, no. At the same time, it, it was another company's test. It was, I think, BNY's test. BNY. Like, I got so frustrated. I closed 
the test. Okay. Like okay, I need some That's break. That's all the pressure. Yeah. The pressure, main pressure was like my friends were getting placed. Yeah, everyone gets placed <laughs> and you had a chance to get a accepted pupil. Oh, yeah. You rejected it. Yes. That was the main situation. Yes. And at one point, you know, if we are under too much pressure, then at after one point, you are not able to solve the solved question, which you have already solved. <laughs> so you start doubting your capabilities. And during that time, peers, I think peers are of great help during yes, that time yes. to keep your hopes up. Oh yeah, that, that was the main difficulty. So I think when ThoughtSpot came, uh, I searched the, looked up the company. I was like, yeah, this is not for me. I will, I will not be able to buy it. So I, I, I think after ThoughtSpot, SAP Labs was the, was the company. Yes, yes. So I was mostly targeting the SAP Labs. So I think ThoughtSpot, okay, I'll interview given, shortlisted. After the first round, I was not sure that I was going to be selected in the first round because I, I did the question. But did uh, with the like it took a lot of time, and uh, after the you know after the half an hour of my first interview, two three people got me for second interview and I was not. There was a I, yeah, and like I was not got. I I did not get the mail. I lost all my hopes. I removed my shirt. I went outside the campus. Again, so abhabe I just surprisingly checked the mail. It was the it was the mail for the second round. I was, Simply ran because it was very less time. I gave the second interview, immediately third interview on call, and I think my best interview was the third round. Okay. Yeah. So yes. like two technical all the three rounds. Two technical and third was technical plus HR. He was asking about my projects and internships and certain management questions as well. Got it, got it. What you gonna do in this situation? You're a leader. Okay. Mm. So like, uh, how did you prepare for the placement process? Like, what are the resources did you use? Okay. Okay, so uh, most of the resources were on YouTube. Okay. I did use some of the notes class ones, but most of the resources were from YouTube, and all of them were free. None of the paid courses I took. So on YouTube, I suggest like everyone should start. Not everyone needs personal opinion, obviously. Like I started with my course school. It's a great channel. It is like the it will clear all your concepts which you need from the starting. Okay, like so people can also start sort of plus C plus plus, but it is I think very basic. Okay. But uh, if you are really new to coding, you can start from him. Like I was, I was really new, so I started from him only. And after that, for data structure, I think uh, nowadays there are a lot of YouTubers. But in the early times, I think at the Verma, for dynamic programming, was a really great. And uh, this is this driver. This driver, I think it was new. I think I, I was in my third, fourth year when I started following driver. And his yeah. Okay. And his questions are really good. Got it. Yeah. So, like, how did you handle rejection or disappointment during the placement process? Yeah, rejections are like, I came up with the mind that okay, I think two companies I can handle. Third and fourth was not planned. Okay. Obviously, I was rejected in most uh, other other companies, oh, other companies as well. Yeah, before. yeah. So after two, I started doubting. Doubting. So during that time, all you can do is study and, also and talk to your peers and talk to your parents. And just keep on talking. Yeah, like, it helps yeah. a lot. Yeah, and try to do like some fun activity also during this, this stressful period. Something like uh, going out with friends. Anything, anything that movie, is recreational. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, how important is it for someone to do like co- like participate in contests and mm-hmm. all that stuff? You know, to build a like, great basic you know, data structures and all. Yeah, firstly, I think we should start covering the basic data structures, no matter how how long it takes. But you should master the basic part. Okay. Uh, you should start with lead code, with medium easy problems. Coding ninjas, like what about that? Yeah, coding ninja, like I have not followed it, but I heard it is good. I think I have watched two three videos of them, but I have not followed it. I have not. Like how? It. Like how? What did you feel like those videos? Are, like are they good? Are coding they ninjas, good? yeah, 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 yeah. Coding ninjas was in the like they. I think I watched their one video of a try question. It was a very good question, and they explained it really well. Okay, uh, so like yeah. yeah, coding ninja was fun. So. Yeah, you have used to start with lead code, easy medium problems. After that, start shifting to code forces, and I think from there on, you can start your CP journey. Okay, competitive program. Yeah, I think it's very important in order to like try out new 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 questions and take. Yeah, like competitive course. programming is a like sports for our brain. Okay, so like uh, looking back, uh, like can you share any success stories or memorable moments from your placement experience? Like, yeah, there is one. This is the uh, one memorable like, yeah. moment. It was during the placement only. Okay. Okay. I got the job. Okay. 
yeah the, during the whole placement process i did not know that the ctc was this, this much high okay because somehow i left the message of the ctc understood in the group which was the business created during the shortlist period so without knowing that yeah i did not giving. know i yeah. was just giving okay and i hope you yeah, i am getting rejected rejected i was just giving i did not know how much the ctc okay i got selected and in the evening i came to know ki ctc is this much actually it's not only about you i was talking to one of my friend who is giving the interview ultimately got rejected hmm. He also don't know that until he gives second round. He also don't know that there is a this much amount of RSU. Oh yeah, yes, 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 yes. I also. He know. also just got shocked listening to that. <laughs> yeah, I was the most shocked. <laughs> and then in the evening, so I got the I got placed. I got eighty eight line and package. Like what did you? How did you feel? I was like, not yes. expected. I was like, "Dude, bull." I didn't mean it. Nah, just that some of some one member from the CCPD team came. Told me. <laughs> okay, so uh, I got this package. I told my at home. I called my brother. I called my parents. What was their reaction? My brother felt was overwhelmed. Like no, not over. He was emotional. And like my parents, they, they, I think they did not believe that day. Okay. They believed another day. <laughs> I'm chilling now with that. And uh, <coughs> the like the memorable moment was next. My brother is also sitting in the placements okay. in his college. Okay. We both rejected people. He was in Samsung. Okay. Internship. He okay. rejected the people. Both of us decided you will sit in the company. Okay. Okay. So here I am getting rejected. There he is getting rejected. Google, Cred, and every company. I got placed, and the very next day he got placed also oh. with the seventy lakh money. That was the memory <laughs> moment, and my brother is a twin. Like, is just hearing twin. that, I can, I, I got a kind yeah. of goosebumps and uh, feel in me. Like I can, I can understand how much uh, yeah. uh, it means to you. Like uh, okay, that's great, and I'm really happy, and all the yeah. best for that. Uh, like looking back, is there something which you have done uh, differently? Like which you have done differently in your preparation for campus placements compared to others? Like differently, I think I've solved. But no, again, everyone has solved. Which I don't think I've done anything differently. But I think I've done consistently. Just kept your nose uh, yes, intact yes, and just yes. do it consistently. Consistent. Yes, yes, yes. Like so, I kept my nose. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Uh, like this is one important thing. It's uh, any everyone has to follow in each and everything. It's not only about campus placement. Yes, yes, uh, yes. So yes. each and everything you do in your life, just keep consistently do do it. So whether you reach the goal today or not. If you continuously do it, some more the other day you'll go, go go to the final and you'll touch that line. So that's really important, guys. Uh, like, uh, how has your campus placement experience impl- influenced your career path or future goals? Yeah, like I'm mentally strong. Uh, I'm not. I'm not like get completely devastated by three rejections at least. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like it has made me mentally strong and given me confidence. Like if I keep putting efforts in a direction. The results will come out. You lucky. Like, like yeah. Yeah. You have to be hard work to be lucky. Okay. So. No, you have to be hard working to be lucky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you have to be hard work. Hard to working to be lucky. You have to be hard working to be lucky. Yeah. So that that has a lot of meaning, is that? So, what skills or qualities do you think are most important for success in getting a campus offer, campus placement offer? Yeah, first of all, the data structure algorithm, or any programming language, then data okay. structure algorithm. Okay. Okay. After you have covered the data structure part, you can you know sh- shift into the development side for which that HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and then you can learn any front end framework that is React, uh, React, and uh, that's uh, Angular. After that, you can shift to back end, but I think not in the third year. Like for the internship, I think this should suffice. Okay. But as the time is changing, I think. Soon, developer developing questions will also be asked in the interviews. Okay. But currently, the trend is you should you know have data structure fully covered. That's very important. Very important. This is like the bread and butter DSA. of campus placement. Yeah, even DS DSA is the bread and butter of campus. And that's why the faculty is also like that. Yeah, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Faculty of CSC department. Yes, thank God it was online. <laughs> we were saved. Uh, okay. Uh, so apart from these technical qualities, like what other uh, like qualities one should possess? During the campus placement process, like in that season, like the technical quality, like, apart from that, like the like the moral quality, yeah, what like the resilient, resilient nature, and of course hard work, and I think I, patience is also one. Yeah, patience, yes, of course, yes. patience. Yeah. You have to wait. Everything all in good time. Keep on telling yourself, and one more thing, you have to 
you know, learn to take things okay. lightly also. Okay, so like you should not take it too hard and yeah. just let go. Don't the don't let one failure decide. On the, okay, I'm a failure. Okay. Don't be too hard on yourself. Okay. So like uh, finally, like uh, you already did your intern. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did you do with the first salary you got in that time, in third year after third year summer in during summer vacation? Like I will not tell you the first thing, I will tell you the second thing I did with my <laughs> earlier, I, I gifted my mom Okay And yearly, yeah, earrings So it's great, like I know that feeling actually yeah. Like it means a lot uh, Like what are your plans to do with the salary which you are going to get in ThoughtSpot? <laughs> Currently there are no plans My father has always already asked me You just keep 50 and rest mine <laughs> <laughs> Okay So yeah, it's time to pay back yeah. Uh, like it's not just the payback, it's our responsibility yeah, to just definitely. give it, uh, like give a support to them also. Yeah, like what are your future plans? Uh, you're planning any further studies or you'll be continuing with Yeah, like uh, further studies are there at the back of mind, but currently I do want As to. As you just want yeah. a break with the studies and all. No, not the like break, like I have the industry experience. Yes. Okay, you want the experience. See how like things how they work. operate. Yeah. Uh, what is there to offer? It's always good to experience things. Yes, yes, yes. So, like, uh, finally, like I would like to ask, uh, mm-hmm. what would you advise uh, to the current students like who are preparing for placements, campus placements, like mm-hmm. how they should uh, utilize this summer vacation, yeah. uh, st- like before the start of uh, the placement season exactly. Mm-hmm. Season. Like uh, completely devote your time to BSA. Yes. And if you can, you if you can you can, uh, like if you have time you can do development so, part as well something like uh, okay also in the competitive program do you suggest them to go in uh, yeah yeah program? yeah competitive program okay yeah it is definitely helpful but if you are starting from like the summer vacation then I think you should not I think they also focus more program. on their uh, good resume building and also yes yes resume skills. building also yeah like uh, one thing I uh, learned from placement like in cash free interview my the person who was interviewing me he asked me to update my resume Okay. Like your skill set and your resume doesn't say the same things. Okay, according to the job profile, you need to. Uh, no, like uh, uh, he thought like my, uh, my resume was missing something. Okay. While I was solving the question, I was telling different things and all. Got he, it, got it. But you didn't update those things. Yeah, he the, was like, so you should be very yeah. clear with what you're mentioning. Yeah, I, I took that line to heart and not just change the resume. Completely change okay. my resume fully. Okay. So, like, something like, for example, if you know some X thing, you didn't mention that in your resume. Uh, like yeah, yeah. Like I, um, I did not mention one intention that I did. I felt like okay, this is pretty oh, normal. Okay. And also like a mini, some mini projects I missed. I like okay, one major project can do, and I kept. I added that also. Okay. And yeah, a few skills here and there, a few. Okay, that's great. So I think uh, we are done. Uh, like any, any any more things you want to add from your end? Anything? Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. So that's all guys, I, I hope you got a very good information from this particular podcast. So thank you Aditya thank once again uh, for coming here, all the best for your future and hope uh, we'll do some more yeah, podcast in future soon. too. Definitely. So regarding some more things uh, which uh, will be helpful for the community, student community at NIT Warner as well as other college people. This video has added value to your life and this video has given the value for your time. Then just what you have to do, you have to just subscribe. And hit the like button, do comment what part you liked the most in this particular video and also do share this with all your friends who are going to sit for campus placements and also make sure you follow the things what Aditya has shared here in this particular video so that you will not miss out on uh, getting a good opportunity in your campus placements. It's very important if you had the opportunities in front of you just go there with your 200% and capture it. So you never know what will happen. Uh, after the college life. So if you had a chance in campus, just capture it. Yeah. So that's all. Thank you so much for watching and uh, see you uh, with the next podcast. Bye-bye.